was with the guys to making up the missed prayers. And I asked, is it, are we talking about one, two, or five prayers like a day? We were talking about a long period of time. She said, months, okay? In this case, uh, normally I share with you the different views, especially when the view is valid and is supported with a sound proof. Then we help each other to choose what is most befitting. Um, the vast majority of the fuqaha are of the view that, yes, you should make up the missed prayers. And how would you make them up? Now, you pray with each father prayer, one or two or three. Like I prayed Fajr, pray two or three. And you mark down on your calendar until you drop all the, the, the missed prayers. Would that really make it up, you know, in postponing a single prayer from its fixed time? It's a major sin. But this is an attempt to show your sincerity in repenting unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hope that it will be accepted. Okay. We have the view of some scholars such as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and others who adopt the view that whenever a person quit praying for a long period of time and did not pray at all, then he has become a non-Muslim. Relying on a hadith or actually a hadith, profound hadith, such as when the Prophet ﷺ said that the difference between Muslims and non-Muslims is a prayer. Whoever does not pray, he's one of them, not one of, uh, of us, and so on. So they say deliberately skipping the prayer for a long time turns a person into disbelief. So if he or she repented, and they resume, يعني they said, أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله That means they have entered Islam uh, all over again. They started from the beginning. And they encourage the person to increase offering an nawafil, which you say the voluntary or super irrigatory prayers. And they said as much as possible. Those nawafil, not to make up the missed prayers, rather to increase the balance of your good deeds. To increase the balance of the good deeds. In general, if we have fard and we have nafl, the fard is given superiority and you offer the nafl 10,000 nafl. It's not equivalent to one fard. To make it easier for you to understand and comprehend what I'm saying, if you go for hajj, for the very first time, this Hajj is Hajjatul Islam, appreciated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a great deal and you just fulfilled the fifth pillar of the deen. Then you happen to perform Hajj because you lived in Mecca for the next 20 years. Every single year you go for Hajj. Those 20 times of Hajj are not compared to the very first Hajj. Why? Because the first Hajj is the Fard, while what comes after the Fard is Nafl. The hadith says, there is nothing, Allah Almighty says in the, in the sacred hadith, nothing that my servant can do in order uh, to draw near to me better than fulfilling what I have ordained on him, al-fard. The obligatory five prayers, fasting during Ramadan, performing the first hajj, giving the zakah. But my servant will continue to draw nearer and nearer to me via offering an nawafil the voluntary acts of worship. So these are means of approach, means of begging Allah to forgive you for your past, means of increasing the asset and the balance of your good deeds. 